Hey there lovelies, it's Sarah Leonard here from AuraAngelArt.etsy.com um, and today I wanted to share with you the resources that I used to make this journal spread. Um, I was inspired by a video also on YouTube by Willowing um, where she works with just three different colours. So with an orange, a red and a pink and uses just those colours plus black and white to make an entire watercolour painting. So that's what I've had a go at today. I've also added in a little quote using my little downloadable collage sheets that I showed you before that I got from Etsy. Um, and the quote that I've put for this particular spread is dream and the definition is an aspiration, a goal or aim worth working for. And then underneath I've put, let your light shine, things will work out, which I thought was quite a good little motto. So let me walk you through what I used to create this spread. Um, so I've used mostly my Jane Davenport watercolours. So from this collection, which I can't remember what it's called, whether it's the bright, I'm not sure. Um, but from this collection, I used Ladybug and I used Frida. So those two. Ladybug was my pinkish colour. Frida was my reddish colour. And then from this set, another gold tin, I used Vitamin C as my orange colour for this particular piece. So, And the majority of what I did, <clears throat> you'll see from the video, was with those watercolours rather than anything else. Um, so all of these splatters, apart from the white where I used my acrylic ink, um, but all of these splatters, an awful lot of her hair, a lot of the shading on the face, that was mostly watercolour. And then on top of those watercolours I used my Prismacolor pencils in very similar colours. So I had a poppy red, that one's called Process Red, but it is very pink, I think, and then an orange. For my initial sketch, I used my Graph Gear pencil with the 2B lead, 0.5. Um, and then to add the sort of details and little doodles in her hair, I used my Unibore Eye Fine pen. I used another Jane Davenport Medium Paint Over pen in Unicorn, which is white um, to add the highlights and I also used a white Prismacolor pencil just for some of the highlights in the hair and you'll see me adding in some little sparkly dots with these um, Jane Davenport pens so I've got one in pink one in orange and one in red which worked really really well with the color scheme and to get some really good shadow and shading, I used my Stabilo All Pencil. Now you can activate this with water and get a much deeper, darker black if you want to. But this time I decided to use a blending stump and just blend that black shadow shading in with all of the other colours. So those are completely options that you can choose. I really quite like this um this kind of idea of working with just three colors it's quite a nice way to just simplify things but also to get yourself started as i mentioned in my last video i've been a little bit um out of the loop really with painting and things i haven't done a lot for quite a long time so this is just me kind of dipping my toe back in the water i think um so i'm pleased with how it turns out i hope you like the spread as well um, I'll put a link in the description to my Etsy shop. If you like my art, you might want to have a look and see whether you can buy something of mine. That would be lovely. I very much appreciate people's support. Um, and I'll also put a link to the willowing video that helped inspire me for the um, colour scheme for this particular um, double page spread. So I hope you enjoy the art video, which will follow after this. And if you do create anything based on watching this video, then please let me know. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm Aura Angel Art by Sarah Leonard on both of those. Um, I definitely would love to see what you create if you do. 
so thanks ever so much for watching and I'll I hope you'll enjoy the art video and I'll see you with the next video very soon thanks very much